we spoke with YH Malegam. He's been the longest serving board member of the Reserve Bank, 21 years. Indeed, the regulator's go-to man for all rulemaking. Malegam believes that the Reserve Bank board is a sounding board for the governor, which can give valuable inputs, but cannot direct the governor's actions. Speaking exclusively with my colleague Lata Venkatesh, Malegam said that the Reserve Bank governor can discuss matters with the Reserve Bank board and get advice, but the final decision remains with him. That's not all. He also stressed that the Reserve Bank Act only gives the government access to the current year's surplus. So touching the Reserve Bank's capital will mean amending the RBI Act itself. Take a listen. Dr. Vedi, in his autobiography, I say, uh, advice and dissent, and in his speeches, I guess, and Raghuram Rajan more recently, yes. have said that uh, you know India's rating is not triple A, uh, the sovereign rating, yes. but uh, we ought to have an entity like the central bank with near triple A rating, yes. so that when we have a problem, this entity can mm. have swap lines or borrow. Is that a fair argument? You think? It's it's a question of what is the probability factor which you assign to a risk. In a AAA rating, you might say that you want to cover a risk whereby you ensure that uh, the risk will not materialize 99.9%. Okay. Okay. And you might say, well, all right, 95% is all right. But that's a matter of opinion. Judgment. But the fact still remains that whatever you do, the law does not permit you to distribute past okay. reserves. Okay. Well, that, that I think is a very important conclusion yes. uh, and, uh, uh, you know, it's something that the government needs to understand. And yeah. Now, uh, uh, the last question on capital before I come to the board itself. Can the board direct the Reserve Bank governor to transfer more surplus than he is prepared to if, in his assessment, he thinks a part of it needs to be held back? You know, I don't think the board can do that because the board has to act in accordance with the law. Okay. If the act does not permit something, how can the board say you can do it? Now, God forbid, if it were to happen that on November 19th, uh, uh, because some board members have strong views on some issues, uh, they vote and pass a resolution asking the governor uh, to do something, either loosen the controls on banks or give a special mm. line of credit to SMEs. Uh, what can the governor do? Can the governor say that please go back and make regulations and come? Uh, this is outside the purview of current I can't tell you what the governor will no, do. No, no. Would he be but within his powers to say that? Theoretically, he could ask for a legal advice okay. as to whether this is within the competence of the board or not. Can the board's advice be set aside by the governor? You see, what I, what I feel correctly uh, is the correct position is like this. The, the members of the board are knowledgeable people about the industry, about the mm -hmm. so, social problems, etc. So they can give valuable inputs to the governor and the management as to what they feel should be the right policy, what they feel would be the consequence of their policy. They can persuade the government, uh, the management, in a particular okay. line. But they have to stop at the point of persuasion. They cannot direct. That is the point I'm making. Okay.